So one of the biggest pros of owning physical media is the availability of bonus or special features on certain discs. And in general, these are features that you typically will not find on streaming services, or if they are provided, you're not gonna get all of the features that you normally get whenever you have the physical copy. However, how do you get these same special features on a media server like Jellyfin? Well, today we're gonna to look at that. Now, before we get into how to add these special features in Jellyfin, let me show you how this looks like. So once you've added these special features, you simply go to your movie and you see all the details here. And then you see a section called special features. And all you have to do is go to the special features that you added, click on play, and it works just like normal. So basically all the same special features that you had in your disc will be available here. But obviously the biggest advantage here is that it is in a digital format. So now just like any other streaming service, you could watch it whenever you want and wherever you want if you set it up that way and also on multiple devices. So this makes things a lot more convenient. And at the same time, you're not losing out on the special features that you love on your physical media. So that's how things look like if you actually have these special features on Jellyfin. So here are the official instructions from the Jellyfin website, and I will leave a link in the description area below. And under this section of media and then movies, this is where you're gonna find the instructions on how to set up special features. So if you scroll down, you see a section called movie extras. So in this case, you can create folders within your main movie folders. So you could create folders like behind the scenes, deleted scenes, interviews, scenes, samples, shorts, featurettes, clips. And you could have one called extras, which is a general catch-all or other. And then there's also one for trailers as well. And they give you some examples here on how to set this up. I myself like to keep things simple. So I just basically use an extras folder and then put all my special features there. So let me show you how this looks like on my movie folder. So here in my computer, we have my Jurassic Park folder. And as you can see, this file right here is the largest file. This is the actual movie itself. And then I created a folder called extras. And here is where I actually put all the extra features. And in this case, you can rename it whatever you want. And in terms of getting these special features off of your disc, there are many different softwares that you can use to actually rip your Blu-ray or DVDs. I myself use Make MKV, but once those files have been ripped and in a format that I could actually use, I just simply move those files into the appropriate folder. And then once you do that, you see this in Jellyfin. So just like I showed you earlier, once you go into the movie details itself, you see special features, and then there's all these other things like scenes and recommendations. But that's all that you have to do to actually get these special features in Jellyfin. And as I showed you a little bit earlier, you can get definitely more granular on the type of special features. But at least for me, I just like to keep things simple, create extras folders, and just put all the other special and bonus features here. And then I'm able to watch it on Jellyfin. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you add special features to your media server, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my previous videos on how to set up Jellyfin, I will leave a link in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips, including marketing. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on my page, and get started creating.